Howdy. In the previous two lessons, we derived the lift and moments about the leading edge for a cambered airfoil using thin airfoil theory. In this lesson, we're going to be taking those two concepts and extending them just a bit in order to find the moments about an arbitrary point x per unit spin. So we'll define some x, and once again, we'll define a psi term, which is where our differential lift co component is going to come from over some width d psi. So once again, we will define this differential moment, but now again about the point x, and this will be the moment arm times our lift, and we'll need to have a negative due to our sign convention. Expanding this out, we end up with rho v infinity times xi minus x times gamma of xi d xi. So once we integrate, we end up with the moments about x per unit span being negative rho v infinity, and then we integrate over the entire chord of xi minus x. We once again have our gamma of xi d xi. What we'll do next is actually split this into two separate components. So our first component is going to be a negative rho v infinity times the integral from 0 to c, and we have our xi gamma of xi d xi. The next component will be this x term, but since x is not a function of xi, we can take that in front of the integral. So we'll have a rho v infinity x times the integral from 0 to c of xi times gamma of xi d xi. But this term right here is exactly, exactly x times our lift per unit span. And this term right here is exactly our moment about the leading edge per unit span. So what this means is that our moment about x per unit span is equal to the moment about the leading edge plus x times our lift. And we can rewrite this in terms of the coefficients to say that our coefficient of the moment about the point x is equal to the coefficient of the moment about the leading edge plus x over c times our lift coefficient. And the reason that we divide by c here is because our moment coefficient is divided by c squared whereas our lift coefficient is only divided by c. So we have an extra c that we need to account for. Now, we have our moment coefficient listed here and our lift coefficient. So let's try to combine these two first. So our lift co coefficient, if we divide by 4, becomes pi over 2 times a0 plus a1 over 2. And if we put this into our moment coefficient about the leading edge, this becomes negative CL over 4 minus pi over 4 times A1 minus A2. And then if we add in this X over C times CL, we end up with our CMX term which is going to be negative CL, now I have a 1 over 4, plus X over C, or actually this will end up being a minus once we have that negative. So this accounts for this part, and then we'll have the rest, which is this negative pi over 4 times A1 minus A2. Let me rewrite that, since it's a little messy. So we have 
the coefficient of the moment about x is equal to negative CL 1 over 4 minus x over c minus pi over 4 times a1 minus a2. And in aerodynamics, we're often interested about the moments or about the quarter chord for the simple reason that this becomes one fourth at the quarter chord, which means that this entire part of it goes away. And we're just left with negative pi over 4 times a1 minus a2. So our coefficient of the moment about an arbitra arbitrary point x, as well as the coefficient of moment about the quarter chord.